What's going on, guys? Ruthenol here, bringing you back with some more Python code. We're at our 31st tutorial, and we are going crazy. Just pumping stuff out with object-oriented programming, functions, variables, white space, comments. Holy crap! We could make a cookbook here. But anyway, here, here's what we're doing today. We're looking at multiple inheritance. Now, uh, in the last tutorial, we were checking out inheritance where you, uh, when one class can take derived characteristic from another class. Now, you can do this with multiple classes. You can derive different classes in in one single one. So if, let's say if we're using that whole parent and child example just like we were in the last video, we can have like a mother and a father and those those uh those characteristics and those traits and those uh those actions can combine for a child. So let's let's try this out in idle. Drag it on over so you guys can uh, can see what we're doing here. Create a new program. Save it as a Whatever you want, I'm gonna call mine file.python as always. Create a USR bin environment python shebang line. Now let's get some classes going. Let's get the mother. And she is one fine looking lass. And you know what she can do? She is especially talented at knitting. And we're gonna use our self keyword inside the parameters as always. And all she's gonna do is say, uh, I am knitting. Because I really don't know how you would program knitting, but whatever. So she can knit. And now her husband, the father, let's get a, oh, father right here, here he is, father, and now he is exceptionally good at snowboarding. So he's going to say, I am snowboarding. So now uh, let's get some, let's get some uh, Doug, he's the father, we'll get some objects going here and we'll get maybe uh, Lily, she's the mother. So now, let's have Lily start knitting. And we'll have Doug start snowboarding. We should change that to snowboard in the function name. And we run this, I'm knitting and I'm snowboarding. Lily, now Lily is knitting and the father is snowboarding though. If we tried to have Lily go snowboarding, she doesn't know how to snowboard, so she's just gonna like crash and burn. And yeah, see, we get an error here. Now, Doug, he's gonna try and knit, but Doug doesn't know how to snow, how to how to knit, so he's probably just gonna stab himself. And yeah, you get an error there too. So now, what we can do here is we can create a child. We can create a class, a child class, and inside those parentheses, like we did last time, we can put in the mother and the father. It's because these are the two classes that we are uh, that we are downloading. That we, I'm sorry, not downloading. <laughs> That's the completely wrong term, but we're inheriting from. Now we don't have to have the child be able to do anything because he already knows how to uh, how to knit and how to snowboard because he just inherited that from his parents. So if we had maybe uh, John, John is our child, and he's not going to do anything for now. But if we have him knit, now John is knitting. And we can have John, let's say, snowboard. And now John is snowboarding. Now, to be completely honest with you, I have no idea how to knit or snowboard, but it, it was fun to program that anyway. <laughs> but yeah, that's really all we're looking at today, just multiple inheritance. You can supply as many classes that you want to to be able to inherit from. You could have um, Eiffel Tower, um, Leaning Tower of Pizza... You could have anything. It doesn't matter. But, uh, yeah, that's all I wanted to share with you guys today. I hope this, hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you were able to may, maybe use a little bit of this in your, in your Python programs. I myself don't use multiple inheritance too much at all. I don't think I use inheritance too much at all. And that's only because I don't use object-oriented programming too much. But that's just because I haven't created, like, really, really huge programs where you, you, where you would want that sort of structure. But in the case that you are working with that sort of thing, you probably will need to be using inheritance every now and again. But uh, thanks again, guys. It'd be cool if you could give me a like, maybe leave a comment, let me know what you think. Of the, I should let me know of how you thought of the, what you thought of the video. I can't even speak, but yeah, it's probably a good time to end the video right now and here. Goodbye, guys.